Hey boys, welcome back to some more Roosters career mode. And as you see there, um, Ian Henderson has retired. He uh, he suffered a broken arm and he uh, he's 32 years old. We weren't going to play him anyway. I mean, he's like 88 rated in this game, which is crazy. But, you know, he's retired. Not uh, not too concerned. Um, but we are also missing Aiden Guerra still injured. And Blake Ferguson is going to miss a couple of games. Because if you, if you watch the last uh, last. I don't know if it's the last upload, but the, the Game 3 of the State of Origin series, uh, Blake Ferguson came in with a big high shot. No, it's not Ferguson. Who was out? Wait, what? Why is Ferguson in? No. Am I going mad? Ferguson definitely got suspended. Why is he in the team? I'm so confused. Am I? <laughs> what is going on? I am 100% sure. I'm 100% sure the fucking Ferguson had like two matches suspension after that game. Okay, <laughs> maybe I'm mistaken. I, I don't know what's going on, um, but we'll we'll proceed here. And uh, right there, uh, who was that? Kenny Dow got the arm free, went for a bit of a risky offload. You know, maybe shouldn't have, but you know, chance your arm, things will pay off. And unfortunately, Nick Arima, he was through the gap, but it just went a touch forward. We do hold them out though, good defense by the team to uh, to stop the little rot there as uh, we try to do a nice little play there. Unfortunately, it's going to cop a deflection and George Jennings, for some reason, in the middle of the field, is going to sweep on that and score a fairly annoying try. Latrell Mitchell couldn't quite make the distance and a couple of errors costing us there. Uh, the Panthers go up in this game, soon to be 6-0 if Peter Wallace converts, which he does. Uh, the play sort of, it opened up, but just one of those times where the Panthers guy just got in the way and uh, knocked the ball down. So we're going to have to do a bit more defending here. As James Seguiaro just through the gap, steps another one. We just can't tackle. The Panthers just game, they were just uh, very tough, uh, constantly breaking tackles. They do have a pretty good side in this career mode, so it's not, uh, not too surprising. I think they were pretty bad on the ladder, though. I thought they were like 15th, if I remember correctly. So it's a little, a little strange because they do have a good side as... We look to attack a beautiful pass there to Daniel Tupo, trying to stand up Moylan, but uh, Moylan does a good job to stand his ground, make a solid solid tackle there as Jake Friend swings his one out wide, gets it back to Hargraves. Another fucking shitty pass. What is going on this game? Seguiara picks it up. Thankfully, Mitchell Pierce was able to catch him, but just some of the passing is just all over the shop. Thankfully, though, Boyd Cordner snatches that one out of the air. It was looking a little dangerous, but... It's going to be like deja vu. We pretty much turned the ball over to the Panthers once again. Uh, but we come up with the sneaky intercept to save our asses right there. So just before halftime, we look to attack here. Kenny Dow, the go-to man, gets it to uh, Daniel Tupo. He steps around. Moylan is left clutching at air as well. And not good defense by the Panthers to let us score like that. It's been a very sloppy, and that's a bit of an understatement, honestly, in this first half by us. In particular, we've been absolutely shocking, but we are going to come away with a six-all halftime score, which is definitely flattering for our team. I mean, I guess we've defended pretty well. Uh, just our attack and yeah, just the attack has been garbage. As Pierce looks to get an early 40-20, the wind was perfect for it. It just uh, didn't quite get the bounce on. But Mitchell there comes up with a huge tackle and bundles Moylan into touch. I was pretty impressed with that. I mean, obviously, Moylan is a lot better in this game than uh, Mitchell, so it was nice to see. Nice to see Mitchell putting in the work in defense there. As we get it out wide here off the scrum and pick Daniel Tupo, just uh, bumps off Moylan, who has had a couple of couple of errors in this game just recently. Not a good minute or so for, for Moylan at the back there, but it was a nice, nicely worked try. I mean, scrums like that are just the perfect position to attack, and... Just a, just a little too easy, honestly. So we take a 6-0 lead, a uh, 6-point lead, I should say, as uh, Coordinate gets it back to Jackson Hastings through the gap. I don't think he's got the pace, but he's outrunning them. No, Jamie Soud now is coming across, and he's got the legs to catch up. I think Dean Fire as well was making good ground, but we do pick up the penalty, just uh, holding down. They pretty much had to. We had them on the ropes, but just one of those things. And once again, just uh, the second half, we were pl playing a lot better, but just another little... Silly pass, just the player wasn't expecting a long pass, so out to Tupo, gets it back to Kenny Dow, Kenny Dow just feigns to pass it, probably should have in the end, 
Nick Arima would have been free under the post, but couldn't quite set him up and just held onto it, which is probably probably the right idea after some of the some of the play we've done. But last tackle here, see what we can do. Mitchell Pierce puts in a neat little grubber and a good kick chase forces a line dropout. So that's uh, textbook stuff from the team right there. Is Hargraves through the hole here tries to set up the man, but good tackle coming across there to stop the big man from scoring. As uh, once again, we just can't can't uh, put the Panthers away there. They're sort of doing what we did in the first half, defending nicely. As Hargraves again on a ni nice little pass there, and he's made a couple of line breaks in this game, looking to looking to attack here. Gets it out, and it's going to get knocked down again by the Panthers. This game is so frustrating to watch. Holy shit, dude! As uh, who is this Zelezniak races away and scores. Another one, dude. Another one. Just another poor pass. I mean, it was deflected, but the pass wasn't on anyway. I mean, there was no, there was no really uh, advantage there. There was no hole to run into. It was just a pass we didn't need to throw, and it cost us. So the Panthers hitting back in this game, soon to be level. You know, it's, it's a, it's a tough one to read. I mean, we've uh, probably been the better side in this second half. They were probably the better side in the first half. Just, uh, just too many errors from our team, really. As uh, Another good kick there, and I thought we were going to drag him into touch again, but Moylan this time holds out and uh, stops himself. But the Panthers get a good chance here. Uh, six tackles pretty much in our own 30-meter line. As uh, who is this? Trent Marin straight through. Mitchell comes up with a huge tackle, but this is looking pretty dangerous. Only a couple of minutes left, and they get it out wide here. We got no numbers out there. Trying to call the boys across, but they're all bunched in the middle. Seguiaro, long ball out. Like three on one out there. And I tried to jam in, but he was just sort of... He was sort of magnetized to the winger, just trying to stick on his man. And the Panthers are going to score right at the death here. And probably seal the game. We just haven't played well enough to really snatch this one, in my opinion. We just can't... We couldn't put it together in attack. Our defense, our defense was good in the first half, but we let a few few line breaks in in the second half, just a bit of fatigue, and that's pretty much going to be game over right there. A uh, terrible loss, very, very disappointing. I had to see so many errors, but hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.